A Russian missile attack killed seven people in Lviv on Monday, according to Ukrainian officials, the first civilian victims in the western city. Local officials said there were four strikes, three on warehouses not in use by the military, and another on a car service station. Lviv's mayor said the attacks damaged civilian infrastructure, houses, and a school. What we see in Ukraine today is a genocide that the aggressor is carrying out on purpose, killing civilians. Seven civilians had plans for life. Today, their lives have ended. Pushed back by resistance in the north, Moscow has refocused its attacks in the two eastern provinces known as the Donbass, while launching long-distance strikes at other targets, including the capital, Kiev. Russia's defense ministry said it had hit hundreds of military targets in Ukraine overnight. Russia denies targeting civilians. In Mariupol, explosions rumbled and smoke rose on Monday from the Azovstal steelworks as Russia tried to take full control of the besieged port city. The Mariupol City Council said at least 1,000 civilians, mainly women, children and elderly citizens, were hiding in underground shelters beneath the vast steel plant, adding that Russia was dropping heavy bombs onto the Ukrainian-held factory. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday railed against sanctions imposed by the West designed to punish Moscow for invading Ukraine. He claimed Russia's economy withstood the pressure and is stabilizing. Now we can confidently declare that such policy with respect to Russia has failed. The strategy of economic blitzkrieg proved unsuccessful. The UN said that more than 2,000 civilians had been killed in Ukraine since Russia invaded on February 24th.